Hello, this is Mavi. Today we're going to be creating this beautiful and dramatic eye look using the Heat Open Dream Eye Palette from Pat McGrath. If that's something that you're interested, keep on watching. Hello guys, I just came back from this concert. It was amazing, but the thing is that I really love my makeup today. I came up with this look I want to show you and I want to recreate this look for you. This could be a really cool look to go out with the girls or just to go party and on my case I went to this concert so yeah this is what we're gonna do all right so we're gonna start adding eyeliner here on the inner rim of my eye so I already added it but I just want to show you exactly where right here I'm gonna start creating the shape of the eye that I want to do so first i'm gonna add a little bit in this area lower lash line right here it's kind of like i'm creating an extension of that line kind of like going towards my brow and i'm gonna start mapping what i'm gonna do and i'm not going all the way i'm just going one third of my eye right here kind of like bringing it up you can start bringing it in so this is kind of like the shape that you're looking for. And the great thing about this is that you can clean it if you want to. The Pat McGrath eyeliner allows me to play more with it for a longer time. So it's kind of cool because it allows me to do this kind of shapes without being too anxious that it's going to set right away. I'm going to place a little bit of this eyeliner right here. And the reason is because I don't want to deposit a lot of color in the place that I'm going to. I'm going to bring this color right here now this is going to give me a more editorial look but you don't have to do this if you don't want to you can just skip this part I changed my brush for a cleaner brush by the way just so I can soften this line okay so we're going to start with a very light wash of color and the eyeshadow that we're going to be using is this one which is called Secret Eden so I'm placing this color in this area. I'm not touching much this area, by the way, just this part. I'm gonna be using the same color, different brush, bringing this color underneath here. so we're going to start using the darkest color from the palette so basically what i'm doing i'm just placing this dark color where i place the eyeliner i'm bringing it right here to very delicate bringing it up towards my brow and very gentle in this area also underneath and we're gonna make sure this line is defined, right? So with a cleaner brush, I'm just going to start blending the edges. All right, so next shadow that we're gonna be playing with is this one over here, which is beautiful. Look at how the light hits to it. I noticed that it has a lot of texture and I wish you can use it without any help, but you definitely need some type of a sticky base. Uh, Pat McGrath came out with this mixed medium bar. Um, I didn't get it because it was sold out. Um, so I do have an eye primer, which I'm going to use with this one. The whole point is that we're going to use this to help us to get this eyeshadow on place. And I'm going to place on the back of my hand like this. All right, so I have some product on my brush. Bring it on the areas again that you want to place this beautiful color. So we're going to be grabbing this Astral Amethyst Moon. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. I'm going to continue building this color. This is so pretty. The other day I wore it and I mean obviously because that's why I'm making this video uh, but yeah I was 
so amazed by it and today even though I already use it I'm continue to be amazed <laughs> I don't know if you can see how beautiful is this eyeshadow I'm gonna be applying a tiny bit of eye primer right here in the inner part because I'm gonna be adding this color over here right here so it sticks better I'm going to add this beautiful color which is called Astral Venusian Orchid or something like that I pick it up like this and I'm just gonna add it right there oh, I don't know if you can see this but I'm gonna do the same thing right here and boom oh my god I'm gonna bring it a little bit up I'm gonna like that effect I'm just gonna grab a tiny blender brush and I'm gonna just retouch the areas that I lost a little bit of depth so I really like how this looks. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to add liquid eyeliner and mascara. I'm gonna be back with you to show you how I clean all this mess. <laughs> but yeah, this is it. Eyeliner. By the way, I use the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes liquid eyeliner and the mascara is the one from Charlotte Tilbury Volume 2. As you can see, it looks really nice, but I'm gonna add some individual eyelashes so we can create more drama. I think this look deserves it <laughs> so i'm back with the individual uh, fake eyelashes you can add the strip if you feel more comfortable i just like individuals uh, but basically i wanted to show you how i clean my eyes especially when you have these kind of looks that they have a lot of texture and a lot of fallout is on your cheeks so i want to show you how to clean it i like to have a microfiber towel and kind of like run it underneath like that okay, next you need some type of moisturizing cream or the eye cream that you use underneath your eyes and you can use a cutex start running it towards one side right this is going to remove the concealer that i placed in the very beginning but it's okay because we're going to be adding more and this is going to help you to clean but also to hydrate this part which is very important Next, I'm going to be placing some concealer on the back of my hand, just like that. I'm just going to work the concealer into the brush. And so I start adding it from the very low part of my eyes. As I'm placing the concealer, I'm going to keep on going upwards, little by little, because if I go with the whole product close to the lash line, it's gonna be hard for me to blend it. Now that I have less, I can get closer to my eye. And this part is very important because then you can tweak your eye. Right here, kind of making more sharp this line. You see? Now compare this eye to this one. All right, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and I'm gonna be back with you in one second. I'm back with the final look. Hope you guys liked it. I'm going to be listing all the products uh, down below in the description box so you know what's going on in the rest of the face. Uh, but I think the most important part was the eyes. I really think this palette, it's really beautiful. These are the Mothership palettes and every year she releases one. I think the start of this color story is definitely this one over here. It's the main color that I'm using and i don't know if you can see how it shift you can see it like it turns into pink and then more like a lila over there is kind of blue i mean it's beautiful um if you see it like in person it's even more beautiful <laughs> i believe this look not only works for a concert like it did for me last weekend but also works if you're planning to go out with the girls i don't know now that everything is being open i also think if you use the right dress this could be like a nice wedding guest makeup. There are endless possibilities for this look. I think even though it looks dramatic, it's very elegant and 
it's very unique so it's fun to play with makeup it's fun to create you know bold looks um i invite you to try if you are more like a neutral girl i usually you know create these looks you know, before my event so i know if it works or not always i wanted to thank you for watching this video also to remind you to please subscribe like this video and share it with someone that you love and that way you're going to help me to create more content in the future i really appreciate all the comments all the love that you've been showing thank you so much again and i will see you until the next one bye bye the mask basically i keep it simple but this is this is me and the concert I'm gonna share with you a glimpse of it.